I'm so sorry that I'm starting so late today. I was having some technical difficulties um, like I haven't had in quite a while. I've, usually things are a little bit more smooth by this point in our virtual um, story time journey. Um, so I hope that you, if you were waiting, that you hung around and I didn't lose you in, um, in all that time. So we are so happy that you are here this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Sensory Storytime at William Jean's Memorial Library with Miss Rachel and Curious George is here with me today too. And um, we are going to have a good time together this morning. First we'll sing, oh, there. We'll sing our welcome song. And some of you that I can tell from Facebook um, might be planning to watch today, so I would love to sing your names. And of course, I will sing Good Morning to Skylar. You can drop your name in the comments box if um, you are watching and you want me to sing your name. Then we'll read a book together and we'll sing another song and we'll get moving a little bit. Then we'll read our second book. When we get here is when we'll do our shaker song. I'm gonna use my shaker eggs like you can see here, but you can use anything at all that shakes, that makes a noise when you, even if it doesn't make a noise, you can still shake it. You can shake whatever you want. Yesterday at story time, someone was shaking Barbies and their hair was going crazy and that was a lot of fun. But you can make a shaker at home if you don't have anything that makes a noise and you would like to. Um, then we'll do a song with scarves and same as with the shakers. You can use anything at all. It doesn't have to be a scarf. It can be any kind of fabric or even paper like a tissue that you can wave around. And then, of course, I will blow some bubbles to say goodbye to you today. So let's start by singing our good morning song to all of our friends who are here. We are so happy you are. Let's all clap because Charlie is here. Charlie is here. Charlie is here. Let's all clap because Charlie is here. Charlie is here today. Let's all clap because Maisie is here. Maisie is here. Maisie is here. Let's all clap because Maisie is here. Maisie is here today. Let's all clap because Skylar is here. Skylar is here. Skylar is here. Let's all clap because Skylar is here. Skylar is here today. Let's all clap because Caroline is here. Caroline is here. Caroline is here. Let's all clap because Caroline is here. Caroline is here today. Let's all clap because why it is here. Why it is here. Why it is here. Let's all clap because why it is here. Why it is here today. Let's all clap because Luca is here. Luca is here. Luca is here. Luca is here. Let's all clap cause Luca is here, Luca is here today. Let's all clap cause Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here. Let's all clap cause Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here today. Let's all clap cause Eva is here, Eva is here, Eva is here. Let's all clap cause Eva is here, Eva is here today. Let's all clap cause Isabella is here, Isabella is here, Isabella is here. Let's all clap cause Isabella is here, Isabella is here today. Let's all clap cause Logan is here, Logan is here, Logan is here. Let's all clap cause Logan is here, Logan is here today. Let's all clap cause Lena is here, Lena is here, Lena is here. Let's all clap cause Lena is here, Lena is here today. Welcome, welcome to you my friends. I'm so happy that you are here. Wait, I'm not finished yet. We have some more friends to welcome because my, my screen didn't, um, scroll automatically. So now I can see we have more friends and I'm so happy you're here. So let's all clap cause Abby is here. Abby is here. Abby is here. Let's all clap cause Abby is here. Abby is here today. Let's all clap cause Callie is here. Callie is here. Callie is here. Let's all clap cause Callie is here. Callie is here today. Let's all clap cause Maya is here, Maya is here, Maya is here. Let's all clap cause Maya is here, Maya is here today. 
Wonderful, I'm so happy to have my friends here with us this morning. Welcome. We're gonna read our first book and both of our books today are about some kind of art, the art of making music or the art of um, making beautiful things to look at. So our first one might not seem like art when you look at the cover and you'll see how it becomes art. Well, I gotta get my chair over here so I can get close enough that you can see the fun pictures. Meow! And the Pots and Pans by Sebastian Braun. This is Meow. That's the name of the cat. How perfect of a name is that for a cat? Meow and the Pots and Pans. Like all young children, Meow and his friends have fun making things. We are going to play and learn with Meow. This is published by Boxer Books. Here's Meow. We're ready. This is Meow. Hello, Meow. Say hi, Meow. Today, Meow is in the kitchen. Meow's friends have come to play. Woof, moo, ba, and quack. Did you notice that all the animals in this book have a name that is the sound that they make? Meow looks in the cupboard. What's in the cupboard, Meow? What do you see? See anything in there? Hmm. Moo is curious. She's peeking in the cupboard. And Ba and Quack look inside too. There are lots of pots and pans. Is Meow going to bake a cake? Meow picks out a green colander and a wooden spoon. This is a colander. If you don't know that word, you might have seen it before. It's something that you can drain pasta in after you cook it, or you can wash fruits and vegetables in it. It's a colander and a wooden spoon. Woof wants the orange frying pan and the yellow fork. See what Woof has there? Moo finds three mixing bowls. Red, green, and purple. Wobble, wobble, be careful, Moo! That's a tall pile of bowls. <coughs> now the cupboard is almost empty. But Ba finds two orange lids. Good job, Ba. Quack wears a measuring cup. Very funny, Quack. You see that? Quack is wearing the measuring cup like a hat or a helmet. But what are they going to do with all these cooking things? Clang, rattle, bam. Boom, boom, clunk. Clang, rattle, bam. Boom, boom, clunk. Clang, rattle, bam. Boom, boom, clunk. What's all this noise? It's Meow's band. Clever Meow. This is what all the animal friends are imagining. That they have drums and cymbals and a xylophone and fancy parade hats and clothes and confetti. This is what they really have and what they're really wearing. But isn't it wonderful 
the imagination that we can use to have things like this and pretend we're doing things like this. There are all the friends and all of their kitchen instruments. Maybe some of you came to the Zoom music class that we had over the summer, I think it was over the summer, with learn, listen, play music, and we use kitchen things as instruments. That is a really fun way to make music, but you always have to ask your grown-up at your house before you do that. All right, so we learned a little bit about the art of music with Meow the Cat. Now we are going to make some music together, um, and we're going to move a little bit. <clears throat> now, if we were together in person for story time, I could do this a little bit more easily. I could do it with you. But if I participate in this song the way I would like to, I'm going to end up going right off the screen. So I'm going to stay in one place, but you don't have to stay in one place. You can move around the room where you are. And George and I will just pretend that we're moving. We're going to practice hopping and stopping. Two rhyming words that mean two very different things. Are you ready? So I'm going to bounce George like this, but you are going to hop like that. Got it? You ready? All right, here we go. Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. And then you freeze and you stop hopping. All right, so remember, I'm staying in one place because otherwise I would hop right off the screen and you wouldn't see me. But you can hop all around. Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Let's go a little faster. Are you ready? Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. You did it! That's hard! Now we'll make it a little bit easier and we'll go slowly. It's hard to hop slowly. See if you can do it. <clears throat> hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Did you do it? Let's go fast. It's time to go fast. Hip hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. That was tricky. Let's do it one more time. Regular speed, not too fast, not too slow, just right. Hip hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today. We'll hop around the room today. Hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Good job, my friends, good job. Good hopping, get your heart rate moving. We're singing and making music with our voices and we're getting some exercise. So now we're gonna read our next book and this one you might have seen before. It's one of my favorites. It's called I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Cottrell. Look at that child covered in paint. This is published by Harcourt. Look at that painting. I'm going to switch places with George. George is going to sit here. I'm going to move over here so you can see the beautiful painted illustrations in this book. I ain't going to paint no more. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor. 
and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. Can you even find the little painter in this picture? The paintings cover everything and they're so colorful it's almost easy to miss the artist, the painter right there. And Mama, who's not very happy. You ain't gonna paint no more. That's what Mama said. And where is the painter now? In the bath. With the dog. The dog got painted too. Now what's Mama doing? See in the picture? Where are all the colorful paints going? I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. This painter just can't help wanting to paint. Look at this pile, this dangerous tower they made to get to those paints. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now, I ain't gonna paint no more. Ah, oh, what the heck, gonna paint my neck. Look at that. Look at the painting on the neck. Now, I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Wow. Look at the painting on that chest. It's like a beautiful snake. But now I ain't going to paint no more. Hmm. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. And what's painted on the arm? Can you see? Ants. Okay. The arm is painted. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Do you believe it? I ain't gonna paint no more, no more, I ain't gonna paint no more, but I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at that. I love the hand painting. The smiley face and the ants. What are the ants doing? The ants are crawling into the mouth. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Do you believe it this time? I don't. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my leg. Beautiful. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Mm, still, I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Look at the mess. Beautiful painted body. But a giant mess. Now I ain't going to paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, gonna paint my what? Look at mom. Not happy. Y'all don't faint. Cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. This child used up all the paint. There's nothing left. And now look, they're in the bath again.
and used up all the paint. Look at that. What an artist that child is. <clears throat> what do you think is a good place for paint? On the walls? No, on the dog? No. Maybe on your body, if a grown-up says it's okay, but most grown-ups will probably say no. What about on a big, beautiful piece of paper? Oh, the amazing, beautiful things you can make with paint on a beautiful piece of paper. Lots of ways you can make art. You can make music, you can paint, and so many different ways that you can be an artist. We are going to be the musician kinds of artists again. We're going to do our shaker song. So get out whatever it is that you have that you would like to shake around along with our song. And I will get our speaker ready. And I will get my shakers ready. And I will get our song all queued up. All right. That's a good sound. That means we are almost ready to shake it together. That means we're ready. Whoop! But that's not true. It should be coming out of the big speaker, not my little phone. Let's see why it's not. Let's. It says we're connected. So let's try again. Ready? You've been ready. You're waiting for me, aren't you? There we go. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on. Shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Come on, shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it everywhere. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Come on, shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. I like it. Come on and shake it with me. Come on and shake it with me. I love shaking it with you, my friends. I love it. And you know what else I enjoy? Doing scarf songs and rhymes with you. 
which is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to get my story time scarf that I have, and you can get whatever you would like to wave around, whether it is um, a scarf. It could be a scarf like this or a scarf that somebody in your house wears, or it could be a dish towel or a washcloth or a tissue or a paper towel or a mask, anything at all, even just your hands. And we are going to wave our scarf in opposite kinds of ways. So we start with up and down. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down, wave your scarf. I'm waving my scarf so high and low that it goes off the screen. Let's try side to side. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right, wave your scarf. I don't know how it appears to you on your screen. It might mix up the left and right based on how you're looking at it. But in any event, this side is the opposite of this side, just like up is the opposite of down. Let's wave our scarf slowly. Wave your scarf slowly, slowly, slowly. Wave your scarf slowly, wave your scarf. What's the opposite of slow? That's right. Wave your scarf fast, 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 fast. Wave your scarf fast, fast, fast. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarf round and round. Wave your scarf. Not sure what the opposite of round and round is. But here's another one. We'll do in and out. You ready? Wave your scarf in and out, in and out, in and out. Wave your scarf in and out, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf, say hello, say hello, say hello. Wave your scarf, say hello, wave your scarf. What's the opposite of hello? It's not my favorite one, but it's goodbye, and it is almost time for us to say goodbye. Wave your scarf, say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Wave your scarf, say goodbye. Wave your scarf. Before we say goodbye though, we're gonna blow bubbles, of course, the way we always do. So I am gonna blow some bubbles for you. And if you have bubbles at your home and you're allowed to blow them inside, you can do that. If not, you can just see how many bubbles you can follow on your computer screen or your TV screen or whatever you're watching on. Follow the bubbles. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, there are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. Oh, I wish you could see. Let me try something. Oh, that doesn't work very well. 
I was going to try to show you how many bubbles are up in the air in here. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. Oh, try again. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Sorry about that. I thought my ringer was off. What's going on? Oh my goodness. My phone is taking on a life of its own. It wasn't ready to be finished, I guess. It's trying to revolt against the bubble song saying goodbye. Let's try our last verse one more time. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, bubbles. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. We don't have story time next week, Thanksgiving week, but we will be back the week after that. So I wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and I am so glad to be able to spend some time with you during these very strange times in life. Bye-bye.